Serena and this is Giovanna and we are unboxing the Love Every Play Kit The Reels for ages 19, 20, and 21 months. She is 18 months. She was born seven weeks premature and we usually do them a little bit late, but she's excited to get a new toy. She loves new boxes and I feel like she has not had any new toys for a while and so we're gonna do this one now. Giovanna! Whoa! Okay, so we have, oh boy. We're just gonna take everything out of the box first. So we have B Gets a Checkup book, the Really Real Flashlight, Count and Slide Ring Shoot, Quilted Critter Pockets, Geo Shapes Puzzle, The Lock Box, and Grooved Pitcher and Glass. So Joanna has already taken out quilted critter pockets. Apparently she wasn't too excited to begin with, but they're fluffy. They are animals and we've been working on object uh, language, like objects with language. And so we'll probably use this to try to reiterate animal names and animal sounds. Yep. She has also taken out the really real flashlight. Um, she tends to like things that have lights quite a lot, so I think that she'll probably like this. She doesn't have button? her own flashlight. Here, you Although she does like playing with the light switches a lot. Okay. We're gonna remove these. I'm glad that she didn't put them in her mouth because we've already had a scare with her potentially eating a battery, but no, she didn't eat it. She just put it down her onesie in her back so we couldn't find it for like four hours and we were all freaking out. <clears throat> She has taken out the grooved pitcher and glass. She does really like water. We tend to take water and put it a little bit into a cup and give that to her because otherwise she spills it everywhere and dumps it on herself. This will probably be a good activity and a very messy activity, but something that she'll probably have a lot of fun with. She's taken out the lock box. She was initially not very interested in it, probably because there's so much stuff in there, but she likes playing with locks quite a bit. She likes playing with understanding how things work and the mechanics of things. She has done a couple of little lock puzzles at the library. And so this is something that, you know, she's already displayed interest in, so that's great. And these seem really sturdy. There's four different kinds of locks, um, yeah. She likes putting stuff into boxes, so we'll probably find a variety of little toys in here as she goes on and plays with them. And um, I'm a little worried about her getting her fingers caught, but it doesn't seem like they're so tight that they would probably hurt her. She took out the Geo Shapes puzzle. As you can see, she has the other puzzles displayed out here from the previous Love Every boxes. She does not put them in. She sometimes takes them out. Um, we haven't lost any of the pieces, which is amazing. We lost one for like a week. Um, we'll, we'll see, hopefully she'll, she hasn't done a lot of shape sorting or shape figuring yet, and she hasn't really been interested in that. We also have the Love Every Play Box set with the shape sorter on there. She does not do that either. We have a non-Love Every shape sorter box. She doesn't play with that, so she probably won't play with this very much either, but we'll see. And maybe it's just, you know, it's not, she hasn't come to that developmental milestone yet. And she, when she does, she'll be more interested in it. So we'll give it a try. These are kind of cool though. A lot more complex. They have the rings, the triangle rings and the square rings with a block inside. So taking out well, and they're nicely wrapped with little paper in here so that they don't chip. But they each have a different color set. Here's the rectangular one or the square one. So this one has a bottom and then you have to put this one on and then you have to put the ring on. So that's pretty complex. I, I definitely think it'll be a, a little while before she figures that out, but it's something that something to work on. Like always, we have the little booklet and here is the book. B gets a checkup. What do you think? Daddy and B are going to Dr. Cooper's office for her checkup. B gets to push the elevator button. 
B loves to look at the fish tank. It's filled with lots of fish. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. Do you see starfish? There are one, two starfish. When it's Bee's turn, she follows Nurse Amy, who measures how tall she is. Bee has grown two inches since the last time she was here. Next, Nurse Amy measures Bee's head. The tape measure feels cool and not too tight. Dr. Cooper is here. He gives Bee a book and they talk about how fun it is to read. So I think this is great. I think it's important to normalize going to the doctor and to talk about the experience and what happens so that uh, babies understand what's happening to their body. But you know what? I'm pretty disappointed with the gender roles that were assigned and the stereotypical roles of this book. As a doctor and a woman, I find it a little offensive that we've yet again played into these stereotypical gender roles. And as a doctor who has a male nurse, we could, we could mix it up a little bit. You don't have to make the doctor a, a girl, that's fine. But maybe you could make the nurse a boy, you know, just throwing it out there. So the last toy that we have is this thing right that's here. called a count and slide ring shoot. Good job. It has some pieces. Okay. Oh. Giovanna wants to take out. Do you want to open that? Whoa, more rings. She loves these rings. Like I mentioned in a previous video, um, she has these rings from a previous set. Her most favorite thing to do with those rings is, is put them down the chute and watch them slide into the bottom. Joanna, do you want a ring? You wanna put it in? She put it in the bottom. It's not supposed to be one of the options, but we'll, we'll go with it. Can you put another one in? No, ring sorter is not her favorite. Why would I when I have this awesome flashlight and this amazing picture? We have the lockbox, this sorter, a more complex puzzle, the flashlight, these critter, quilted critters, and I think, oh, and the pitcher and cup, I, uh, and the book. Um, like I mentioned, I'm disappointed about the stereotypical gender roles that are portrayed in this book, but I, I, I don't know, I guess that's, girls can be nurses, I guess. Um, and they are more often than, than men. So that I'm kind of disappointed about. She's gonna love the flashlight. She's probably gonna really enjoy the lockbox and these little animals. She's not gonna be playing with this and understanding this for quite a long time. Um, I don't think she'll probably ever understand or be interested in this because it, it's not that, it takes a lot of concentration in order to participate with this toy and she doesn't have that kind of concentration. She's gonna lose interest really fast. Yeah, it's not very intuitive. I didn't understand what to do with it. I had to read the manual. She's definitely not gonna understand what to do with it. We're not counting yet. Maybe when we do start counting, a long time from now, she may be interested, but I, I kind of doubt that as well. Um, and she's she's gonna enjoy the pitcher and the cup a lot. We're probably gonna use these a lot. Um, I'm a little surprised that they're plastic. The last cup that came with a Love Every box was um, metal, um, and I thought they were anti-plastic-ish. I mean, it's nice because we're not going to break these, um, but I am a little bit surprised. And, and we are gonna use them quite a lot, plastic or, or anything else. So um, while I was looking at what came in the box on the website, I was a little disappointed. I really want the one that has the little sink, um, but that doesn't come for like a year. Um, and actually looking at all the toys in person, I actually like most of them and I think she's gonna use most of them. And I think she's gonna feel like her toy box got quite refreshed. And so, uh, yeah, I think this was, I think this is a pretty good one. We'll do a follow up to see what she has actually used and if that followed my predictions or not. And until then, see you later. And what do you say, Giovanna? You say, bye, say bye. Bye. Do you want to blow a kiss? Do you want to blow a kiss? <laughs> Do you want to blow some germs? Bless you. Do you want to blow a kiss? Can you blow a kiss? Good job. And 
like, subscribe, and smash that like button.